As you guys know, I just recently bought my first house. This will be my seventh move in the last six years, and at this point, I feel like an expert. Each place has taught me something different along the way. I've learned what I like and what I don't like, the responsibility of maintaining your space, and most importantly, if you don't get it decorated right away, you may never get around to it. Today, I'm so excited to be partnering with Facebook Marketplace to show you guys how over the last three weeks, I have transformed my first house into what truly feels like a home. Hey guys, welcome to my house. I've been living here for a month. I've gotten a pretty good amount done and today I just want to give you guys a whole tour. So let's go. The house is a three bedroom, three bathroom townhouse in Seattle, Washington. So when you first walk in, it's kind of like an apartment on this main floor because it's just kind of like a rectangular box and there's this nice big kitchen and then the living room. I've always wanted white cabinets in a kitchen, so I felt pretty lucky that I just happened to find a place with that. The countertops are like this kind of gray light stone. I thought that was also quite unique. You know, I've just got like the regular appliances, a coffee maker, a toaster, a blender, and then some fruit and stuff. Also, if you come on over here, we have this closet that's super handy. It just has my evil washer and dryer. You guys, this thing is evil. It eats up all my clothes. Seriously? And then I just kind of hide some recycling in there. And then there's cleaning supplies too. Like I said, this is a work in progress. Not everything is perfect, but I am very excited to show you guys the living room because that is perfect. <laughs> This is a swivel chair. It's got this really beautiful leather. It's real leather. This was the first thing that I got for this house and I found it on Facebook Marketplace for $700. And originally this cost $1,200. So I saved a lot of money on this piece. I say everything is my favorite thing, but like <laughs> this is one of my favorite things. Since this is a pretty small space, the townhouse is 1,300 square feet total. I didn't know exactly how I wanted to decorate it, so I took a lot of inspiration from how it was professionally staged for the open house in that they had a couch about this size. It's actually big enough that someone could sleep on it if I had like a guest over or something. Very cozy. And I got this on Facebook Marketplace in Portland. So me and my sister drove from Seattle to Portland. Today we are on an adventure to get the perfect couch Couch. Right, we got the couch strapped back there. We got this thing, we strapped it down, and now it is here, and it is so perfect. It's a really nice couch. It's from one of my favorite brands. Brand new, this couch is $2,000, and I walked away with it on Facebook Marketplace for $1,200. The coffee table was the last thing that I got for this room and it is amazing. It's got this beautiful mid-century look. Oh my gosh. This is like that moment where it's finally starting to feel like a home. Again, this is from one of my favorite brands and I know that brand new, this costs $700 and I scored it on Facebook Marketplace for $450. This rug that I found on Facebook Marketplace was originally $1,400, but the seller had it listed for $600, so that was definitely worth it for me. This is my first time ever having a TV, and then this worked out super nicely as well. This used to be in my old bedroom, and it's just an art print that I got from a local Seattle artist, and it actually looked really nice right here. And I love that there's like a sconce right above it. Over here, we've got this little nook. For now, I have a bar cart from my old place. If you guys are anything like me, the decorating never truly stops. It just evolves. And over this last week, I picked up some inexpensive decor, just like little pieces to make the space feel more lived in and more homey. First being this amazing, plant. This was an absolute steal. I got this on Facebook Marketplace for $55. And this is a beautiful, huge, mature bird of paradise plant. Not only are these just hard to find in general, they're expensive. Usually at like a specialty plant shop, something like this could run you about $200. And the woman selling it was moving, so she couldn't really take it with her. And she kind of just wanted to get it off her hands. So I got a really good deal on that. Then I got this pillow off of Facebook Marketplace and this was $15. It's just this light pink blush colored pillow. I like it on the leather chair or the sofa or just hanging out in this amazing basket. So I got this on Facebook Marketplace for $30 and it's kind of like this really cool 
woven basket in just this cream color. Lastly, I got a set of picture frames. So these were $15 each. Picture frames can be really expensive. So buying them used is an awesome thing to do. It'll save you money because literally it doesn't matter if a picture frame is used at all. Like literally at all, it does not matter. So these ones are cool. It's like this antique silver and I have them leaning up against the ledge above the fireplace. So those are the updates. And honestly, I found Facebook Marketplace to be so helpful in my whole moving process. Not only when it came to finding some really awesome furniture and saving a lot of money on it, which by the way, you guys, I calculated if I would have bought all this stuff brand new at their retail prices because I was able to find that. You save a lot of money on shipping. You know, when you're thinking about buying a $2,000 couch, shipping on a big piece of furniture is usually about $150. So you're saving so much money when you go pick things up within your community and you meet cool people and it's sustainable and it's just a really good option. But also it's been an amazing resource for just housing. When I bought this townhouse, I was planning on getting two roommates and I thought it was gonna be a hard, daunting experience to find people, but honestly, you guys, I put up a listing on Facebook Marketplace and I was able to find roommates in like two days. So it was easy for me to find people to live with me, but it's also a great place if you're looking to move. It's really good for subleases if you guys are like me and, you know, and I never know what you want to do with your life and you only want to live somewhere short term. There's a lot of like sublease options or like taking over someone's lease that's listed on Facebook Marketplace too. So I just found that to be so extremely helpful. Okay, now on to the rest of the house. Downstairs I have one bedroom and one bathroom and I have a roommate that's gonna be moving in in a couple weeks down there. Here is this room. It's pretty small, but it's definitely nice for someone, you know, that just wants their own space. It's so nice having a garage. I've actually never had my own garage and I love it. So that's it for downstairs. Now let's head up. So upstairs, first thing you see is my bedroom, I'm really excited that all the furniture that I previously owned fit perfectly in here. The only new thing that I added was this rug. She was getting rid of everything and I saw this rug and was like, wait, that's literally perfect for my room. So she sold it to me. Overall, my room looks pretty much exactly like my old place. I have my same sconces, my bed, even my plant, even my plant survived. I've had this plant for a year. It's, it's really exciting. Let's just take a moment. I love this closet so much. I literally have so much storage, I don't have enough clothes. I gotta go buy more clothes. No, I'm just kidding. This is just where I do my makeup. I always like doing my makeup right next to a window so I get the natural light. It just always looks like a crazy mess. And then I have this chair. It's really nice having a random chair in your room. You'd be surprised. If you have like a friend over, they'll sit in the chair. I'm always filming videos. I find that moving this chair somewhere helps me film. Then I have my dresser. This dresser is amazing. It took three strong men to move into my house. <laughs> so we just have this pocket door that connects my bathroom and it's kind of weird. There's actually a pocket door that connects the other bathroom as well. We're gonna get that fixed. Love this bathroom. It has so much storage. I actually just like don't even have that much stuff because the last few years of my life, I was living with a ton of other people. So I just really had to minimize and consolidate, which I wanna stay that way. I think it's good to like be more minimal. You don't need a ton of stuff. Um, but yeah, I literally just like have drawers with like nothing in them. Now that I'm a homeowner, you know, it's like I really wanna care for my stuff. So I have this little towel so anytime I get water on my counter I like actually wipe it up and then this is my shower it feels kind of like a hotel shower then we have this little hallway down the hallway we just have this other bathroom it looks very similar to mine same finishes and everything just has more of a bathtub in it and then this is the third bedroom warning it is a work in progress but I'll show you guys there you have it <laughs> So I'm actually furnishing this room and I'm gonna use it as a guest room for a couple months. And then at the end of December, I have my other roommate moving in and she's super excited that it's already just gonna be furnished. Pretty nice room. It's got like some pretty nice natural light. It's bigger than the basement room. And then there's just a little closet. 
as well. With probably the most important thing in the house, the board that connects the internet. Also in this third bedroom, it's a little bit funky, but we have the stairs leading up to the rooftop deck. Since the house is only 1300 square feet, it has some weird space saving things. So it's not ideal, but it's also totally fine to me. So let's go. I can't believe I have a wet bar. It's becoming winter, it's not really wet bar season, so I don't really have anything up here yet, but it's a pretty awesome part of the house. And then right here we just have the door to go outside. I feel so lucky to actually get a view of the water. Like, I can't believe this is mine. I got some of these heaters. Those are pretty clutch. So that is my house, you guys. I feel so extremely thankful to be able to call this place home. Thanks again to Facebook Marketplace for sponsoring this video and just making the whole moving and housing process so much easier. If you have a Facebook account, you can use the Marketplace. They have furniture, cars, houses, so you can like buy and sell things yourself or find a place to live. Maybe one day you'll live with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was so fun decorating this place and I'm genuinely so happy with how it turned out. I'll have Facebook Marketplace links below. They have an Instagram, really great resource for getting inspired for how to decorate your space. Definitely have to end this saying this is such a dream come true being able to own a home i'm so happy i'm so proud and i'm so thankful and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye